amazing, bro. All right, let me uh, pull this up really quick. So uh, I have a point of reference so you guys can see something. Um, here we go. It's a good picture right there. I like that. So, yes, um, this is my full review of uh, Arcane um, all of season one. And um, from beginning to end, every character, every notable character, I should say, whether it's Silco, whether it's Vander, whether it's Powder, whether it's Phi, whether it's Mel, um, whether it's Victor, like these characters were done so well. It's like, like it reminds me of like season one of uh, of Game of Thrones, where you start to know, a, you know, a Rob Stark. You start to know like a little finger. You start to know. Like, you know, all the different characters that make up the body of this. And they find a way of uh, making every character progress. But at the same time, they're in their infancy stage at the same time. It's like, yes, um, Vi, by the end of the season, becomes a great fighter. Yes, she has some epic fight sequences. She has some epic moments. But there's a sequence with uh, Vander kind of speaking to her, so to speak. Whereas, like, I, I, he said something along the lines of, I wish I could tell you to get easier, but it doesn't. But she needs you. They all need you. Or you say you get up. Like, that to me is the definition of every single character. Whether that is by where that is powder and what she becomes um like the transfer from powder to jinx like it's like you take in like harley quinn the joker and something else entirely and like adding so much context to it like you're you're literally seeing someone from a very young age push to the brink of madness then you're seeing them swelter for a period of time where they're outside of their minds, right? Then they're not only pushed past that, they are physically like pushed past their their limits as well. Um, like psychologically, they're just gone. And it's just, it's crazy to me because the thing about Jinx now at this point I don't even know what she's capable of. It's kind of like, imagine the Joker, right? As genius level the Joker is, as deep, as a weird, weirdly, as good a fighter he is, and just as sick he is. Imagine if he had a unlimited amount of speed power as well. Because where Jinx is at this point, I, I, I dare I say, I don't know what she's truly capable of. I really don't. And it is amazing. It is so amazing. Even like characters like Echo, bro. Like Echo was uh, introduced as well early. And seeing where Echo starts from where Echo ends, yo, oh my gosh, bro. I'm loving it so much. And I think the thing about this show that I, I have to give so much credit for is the fact that the show takes every single character design and distinctly like magnifies their importance. So it's like it's not just aesthetically, oh, okay, that's cool, all oh, aesthetically not like no, there's a reasoning for every person's look. There's a reasoning for every person's like um armor or uh gadget that they're using. Every single person, big or small, are guided through certain circumstances of actions that happened when they were younger to where they are right now. And it's crazy because I, I'll give you an example. Like I thought right here that, you know, powder transitioning over to Jinx, I thought that this was, you know, this was going to be, you know, it's going to be rough. You know, I was like, man, this, this character is just fallen. And when if I told somebody that had never seen this, like, oh, you ain't seen nothing yet, I wouldn't have believed it. 
I really truly wouldn't have believed it. And the other thing I was going to say is that there's something going on also with the character Victor. And I don't know how to really describe it other than the fact that I feel like Victor as a character um, reminds me of another character that helped out Jace early on. Oh, the other thing, Jace. So first off, Jace... Jace is a very interesting character in and of his own right. But the thing I didn't realize about Jace, Jace can fight. <laughs> like, Jace with that hammer, low key, he can command an army. And honestly, like, just watching him pair off with Vi, oh my gosh, dude. Um, I'm, I'm trying to say a lot without saying too much. Um, Mel, as a character, when you the whole entire time, you're kind of like, oh, man, she's twisting the arm. Oh, man, like, we can't trust her. Oh, man, like, a lot of this she's instigating. She's put all this in the atmosphere. And when you get an understanding of who she is, where she comes from, and whose family she's a part of, bruh, it, it, all, it makes her look like a saint when you really understand what's really going on. And I think that's the funny thing. But this is the biggest thing that I'm going to say and I'm so excited about because the way this ended, there's no way you can't. Season two is, of course, confirmed. I am beyond excited. I am beyond ecstatic, honestly. And I cannot wait to see what happens next. I, 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 when I say to you, this is one of the greatest animated series this year, I mean it. Like, I really, truly mean it. And I didn't think anything would touch Invincible. Like, Invincible, one of the things I'll say about Invincible is that Invincible um, is unlike any show that I've seen before in a long time. And, like, it was brutal. Um, it, was, it was raw. But the thing about Invincible versus Arcane. Invincible tried to be really funny and comedic at times, even though it was, yes, it was very gruesome and dark, but it was comedic, wholesome moments, right? There were, um, there was just some wholesome things happening in the midst of a lot of terrible, sick things that were happening. And the art style for that worked for what they were doing, right? But Arcane, the whole entire time, it kept the same exact tone. Uh, it started in flames. It started with a lot of darkness. It started where you're like, what is really happening here? And the animation, honestly, is some of the best animation. This is, if, if this, and I, don't know, I, I don't know about the Emmys or the Golden Globes, but they should take note of this show, not just as an animation, but also as a show. But if it doesn't go as a show, as an animated series, this is the best this year. Like, just, just period. Like, everything about it. Just stand out amazing. Um, I, 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 I don't know more I can say other than if... if if you've seen this, you understand what I'm saying. And I feel like I'm a broken record at this point, but I, I stress and I can't stress enough. This was outstanding. Watch it if you haven't seen it. If you needed me to give you the convincing nudge, if you've seen it, let me know in the comment section below how you feel about it. I'll talk to you guys later. Keep it locked. JVS Wing will stop. Peace, guys.